So here you have it, the new Pixel devices and an early hands-on, plus an exclusive deal for you guys, courtesy of our partnership with YouTube Shopping. Thank you to YouTube Shopping for sponsoring this video. You guys can actually save 50 bucks on either the Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro. All you gotta do is type the code Unbox Therapy. Plus, since it's a collaboration with YouTube Shopping, there's actually an overlay on this video that you can click on. These are new YouTube Shopping features that you can shop directly through. But if you're old school and you wanna check the description, the details are down there as well. Once again, the code is Unbox Therapy and 50 bucks off for a Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro. Now, let's talk a little bit about these devices. This is a preliminary hands-on video. I can't do everything with them yet, though I promise you I will eventually. So in my left hand here, this is the Pro model, 6.7 inch display. You can see they have this matte finish and this nice bluish tone, which they're calling Bay. It is available in different colors as well. Now, obviously they're not identical in form factor. We've got the bigger display. Obviously battery size will be different as well. Storage options, there's a few to choose from. The main technical difference between the two is the camera department because we are getting an extra camera on the Pixel 8 Pro. And of course it is that 5X zoom that you're seeing in this location right here. What I like this year is that the standard Pixel 8 actually went a bit smaller uh, for those that are looking for that extreme portability, that enhanced portability and one-handed functionality and don't want a giant brick in their pocket. So options are good here. And we have a bigger distinction between the Pro and non-Pro instead of having too much overlap where they're kind of the same size and it's not really a huge difference between the options. Hazel on the Pixel 8 over here is obviously in the glossy finish, but then that kind of contrasts a little bit with the bar that comes across holding the camera in place. On the Pixel 8, that's a matte finish, like a brushed look, whereas you get this chrome-like shiny finish to go with the matte finish of the remainder of the phone. So it's kind of a little bit of both, just distributed differently. The same goes for the frame of the device, which is polished and shiny on the Pro model. It even has that little blue tint to it to match in with the main body of the phone. This is my first glance at the camera department. Yes, we have that Periscope style zoom lens 5X, which Google claims is improved obviously on the latest generation. We've also got the latest chip in both of these devices, the G3. Front facing camera in the center of the unit. SIM tray is on the left hand side of the device. Type C on the bottom for quick charging, power as well as a volume rocker in display fingerprint sensor. 6.7 inch device, I'm very familiar with it because I spent a ton of time with the Pixel 7 Pro. Obviously these are slightly different now. The layout on the bar section has changed. Button layout, similar, however slightly different. SIM tray in the same location and so is the Type-C connector. Let's move over to the Pixel 8. You know what, now I really like this color. This hazel kind of has that chalk-like look to it, that flat gray, which is so popular right now. And then the matte finish around the other elements, including the frame of the device here, aluminum frame. And it has that brushed look to go with the glossy back. Very comfortable form factor. Now with this one, your index finger kind of rests right below the camera bar, giving you that really secure hold, like it's actually resting on there. Incredible confidence and lots of reach for one-handed use. Obviously, this is always a tough decision when debating between the two. Now, you get the extra camera, you get a different battery size. You've obviously got a bigger screen size as well if you go for the Pro model. However, there's, there's a comfort and confidence with the smaller unit for on the go, one-handed functionality. It's a bit of a toss up. Let me know in the comments which one you'd be more interested in, the Pro at 6.7 inches or the non-Pro at 6.2. Now, if we bring our comparison to the eight versus seven, you'll see these ones have changed quite a bit actually in form factor. So the eight became more portable, substantially more portable, a little bit shorter for reachability and the corners kind of got rounded off a little bit more so. One nice thing about having the bar on the back of the device is you don't get that typical tabletop wobble that you have with other devices that only have the camera module up in one corner. These instead have a nice pleasing angle to them. However, no wobble associated.
Also, in the smartphone space, these camera units are some of the more distinctive. Like many other manufacturers are not quite doing this and don't quite have this design language. So it really helps to ID the phone and give it a distinctive personality. Camera units here look ever so slightly different. Uh, the same is true of the 8 Pro versus 7 Pro. The dimension is extremely close here, but the curvature of those corners is ever so slightly different just a little bit more curved on the new model. Something really interesting that's been added to the 8 Pro is a thermometer that can be pointed at food that you're cooking or other objects if you wanna get a quick temperature reading. Unusual, it is unusual, but for me and in this space and the stuff I would use that fairly frequently, honestly. Now, of course, I gotta check if I can slap a later case on here. So we do have Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. This has quickly turned into my favorite color. Uh, this one is called Coffee on the website, and it has this really fine texture to it, incredibly thin, and gives you a surprising amount of grip, but keeps everything as streamlined as possible. And as the company intended, when they worked so hard to slim down the device. And this one still maintains its distinctive look with this variety of cutouts. Pixel 8 looking just as good. Actually, I think this frame here looks great with the coffee colored later case. Of course, we've got other colors as well. We've got the crimson, there's the blue, there's the double black, and then there's the classic with the Kevlar weave. If you want an extremely thin and light yet strong case, then I highly recommend you check out Later Case through the link in the description. So it's always exciting whenever there's new Pixel devices released. I've been using not just Pixel devices, but Nexus devices before. I've been a fan of the vanilla Android experience for a really long time and also getting access to the latest features inside the software and the latest camera features as soon as they're available. The Pixel 8 Pro is starting at $999. The color availability is the bay that I'm showing you right here, but it's also gonna be available in porcelain and obsidian. Pixel 8 is gonna start out at $699. It's available in the hazel that you've seen me handling, and then it's also gonna be out there in rose and obsidian like the 8 Pro. So I'm excited to get my SIM card into one of these. I'm still undecided though, which one I'm gonna go with. I typically go for the bigger phone. I obviously wanna use the 5X, but there's something about this Hazel Pixel 8 that's speaking to me. You guys can help me decide with your vote which one you think that I should use and why, but I'm definitely gonna pop a SIM in and bring some follow-up content after a little bit more usage. But remember, if you wanna pick one up for yourself, definitely save that 50 bucks check out the description and also notice that because this is a YouTube shopping collaboration, there's actually links and special features on the video overlay itself. If you click those integrations, you'll actually see the products represented right on the video. Go ahead and check out those features and save 50 bucks.